Hi, and welcome to this class. Today, we are looking at how to convert numbers in base 10 to other bases. So in the previous lesson, we have looked at what number base systems are, and we have seen the different types of number bases. So now we are looking at how to convert numbers in base 10 to other bases. Remember, numbers in base 10 are 10 numbers between 0 and 9. So let's see the two processes that you can employ to convert numbers in base 10 to other bases, depending on if they are whole numbers or they are fractions. So here we have to convert numbers in base 10 to other bases, do the following. A, if the number is a whole number, divide the number in base 10 repeatedly by the base you are converting to until you have zero with a remainder of one. So whenever you have a number in base 10 and you want to convert it to any base, all you need to do is repeatedly divide that number using long division until you have your final answer of zero and a remainder of one. Also take note, please, if the base you are converting to is not base two, then the remainder might not necessarily be one. It might be one, two, or any number that is available for that particular base. Then in the second situation, if the number is a fraction, that means if it is behind the decimal point, multiply the number by the base you are converting to. So if the number is a whole number, which is the number is in front of the decimal point, you divide. But if the number is a fraction, which is behind the decimal point, you multiply. For example, if you have 85.65, let's say you're converting this in base 10 to base 8. What you're going to do is these values in front of the decimal, you are going to apply A. Or these values behind the decimal, you are going to apply B. So that's what I'm saying. Let's look at an example. Example, convert 32 base 10 to base 2. So we're expected to convert 32 base 10 to base 2. So since this value here is a whole number, then we are going to apply A, okay? So we are supposed to divide repeatedly by the base we are converting to. What base are we converting to? 2. So let's do that. Solution. Okay, so we are dividing 32 by the base we are converting to. We are converting to 2. So we'll keep dividing 32 by 2 and taking note of the remainder. So we have 2 here. 32 divided by 2 will give us 16. And the remainder will be 0. Because when 32 is divided by 2, there will be no remainder. 16 divided by 2 will give us 8. And the remainder will be 0. Also, 8 divided by 2 will give us 4 and the remainder will be zero. Four divided by two, can you see that we are dividing repeatedly by two? So four divided by two will give us two, remainder zero. Two divided by two will give us one, remainder zero. But here we've not gotten to zero, so we also divide one by two. But how many two do we have in one? None, so we have zero, but the remainder will be this one. So now we've come to the final point because we are told that until you have zero with the remainder of one, this is when you're converting to base two. So the next thing is that you write the number you get as your answer from bottom to top. So 32 base 10 is equal to one, zero, 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 zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Base 2. That means 32 in base 10 is the same thing as 100,000 in base 2. In our previous video, we said that computers and other electronic devices count in base 2. So whenever you put 32 on your keyboard, what the computer is seeing is 100,000 because the computer only calculates in binary number. So let's look at another example. So this value we have here, let's convert it to base eight. So convert 
six five base ten to base eight. So in this situation, we are going to apply both um, principles. So we have the first situation, a whole number, and we also have a fraction, a decimal fraction. So this will be 85.65. So this is a whole number, and this is a fraction. So we are going to apply A for this, and then B for this part. So let's solve together. So let's pick out 85 and break it down until we have zero and a remainder. The remainder does not necessarily have to be one. So we are breaking down using eight because we are converting to base eight. So we have 85 divided by eight. So 85 divided by eight is going to give us 10 remainder five. Okay, and then 10 divided by 8 is going to give us 1 remainder 2. We've not gotten our last value because we need to have 0 here. So we divide again by 8. So 1 divided by 8 will give us 0 remainder 1. So we've converted 85 as a whole number to base 8. So the next thing we're going to do is convert this fraction here, this decimal fraction to base 8. Let's look at the principle here. If the number is a fraction, multiply. So here we are dividing, but since this number is a fraction, we multiply the number by the base you are converting to. So the number here, since we've worked on this, what we are left with is 0 0.65. Remember, 85.65 is the same thing as 85 plus 0 0.65. So we've worked on 85. Now we want to work on 0 0.65. So what we are told here is we multiply by the base we are converting to. So we are converting to base 8. So we are going to multiply this by 8. So when you do that, 0 0.65 multiplied by 8 is going to give us 5.20. So when you have 5.20, you are going to pick out this whole number, which is 5. Just as you are picking out a remainder of 0, 0, 0, and also you are picking out a remainder of 5, 2, and 1, you'll be picking out the whole number here, and then you bring the remaining. When you remove 5 from here, you have 0 0.25. You multiply it again by 8. It's equal to... 0 0.25 multiplied by 8 to give you 1.60. So what do you do? You pick out 1 and bring down 0 0.60. So we have 0 0.60 multiplied by 8. 0 0.60 multiplied by 8 to give you 4.80. So what we have as remainder here is 4. We can keep doing that, but we can just stop at this point since it's a decimal. Remember, when you have a decimal, you can round off the decimal if you want. So we can decide to stop here. But ideally, we are supposed to continue multiplying until we have a whole number and a decimal that is zero, zero, okay? So we are, we are supposed to continue multiplying, multiplying until we get a whole number with decimals that are zero, zero. But we can stop here for this video. So what would be our final answer? So we have... 85 we base 10 we got it as remember here we are going from bottom to top but here we are going from top to bottom okay so it is just opposite of each other when it's a whole number you go from bottom to top you count from bottom to top but when it's a decimal you count from top to bottom when we have 85 base 10 we got 1 2 5 base 8 correct and then when we got 0 0.65 base 10, we have from top to bottom 0 0.514 base 8. So combining these two, 85.65 base 10 is equal to 125.514 base 8. 
So we have been able to convert this number in base 10 to base 8. Very simple. I'd like you to try out this classwork and leave your answer in the comment section. Convert 62.54 base 10 to base 5. I'd like to see your answer to this simple question in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to convert numbers from other bases to base 10. Don't forget to like the video, also share with your friends, and subscribe for more mass content. Bye.